MG Studios, me and my man Kwame Harris. I'm gonna take you guys on a tour, teach you guys about how to improve your studio or how to make your make your own studio for all you newcomers out there, the young newcomers out there. So we came to talk to you about young aspiring artists. What like what can they use to improve their studios or the upcoming artists who have nothing, have no skill? How can they achieve their goal? The first thing might want to do is decide what type of music they want to create and what their budget consists of. Because depending on what your budget consists of, most mostly it's usually the budget first. You can create anything you want with any tool if you take your time and, and you're diligent. But your budget is usually the first thing you need to consider. So once you figure out what your, your budget is gonna be, you decide whether you're gonna get a new piece, you're gonna get some used gear. At the end of the day, you just wanna have tools that's gonna allow you to express yourself. And what you can do that with a small budget or a big one. And what tools can be used for a basic studio? For a basic studio, what kind of budget are you talking about? Give me an talking idea. Maybe $200, $400. Now, you $200, $400, do you have a computer already? Yeah, but I have a, maybe a Mac. Or so you got like maybe a Mac, uh, maybe a three, four year old mm -hmm. Mac or something? Well, what you could do is then you go by reason. Go by reason, it costs you about 300 bucks. Sometimes you get student discounts at some of the stores. You go get reason, a little MIDI controller like this, maybe a hundred bucks. And you go home, That's cool. you plug your headphones into your computer, and you're making tracks. Cool, man. Yeah. Give me a favor, yeah, so well. can you explain it to everybody out there and to me what Reasons is? All right. I don't think everybody knows. Well, if you don't know, Reasons is a self-contained sequencer, sound module, so sound generator, I'm and now, <laughs> now, and now, with the update of Reason 6, they did a great job with that too. I still haven't gotten to play with 6 yet, but I have some friends that's using it. But 6 incorporates a uh, DAW, which is a di digital audio workstation. Mm -hmm. So you can actually record in there, you can create your music. So it has basically like an internal drum machine, with this great thing called Kong, and Kong is real powerful. And as you can see over here, like, this is Kong here. And right here, you got a built-in little mixer on the screen. You got you got everything you need to really get yourself going. Pull that back up. See here? So you got a little mixer, which kind of looks just like my big mixer here. You know, you see that? They, they emulated the Mackie look it even. Then you got the drum machine, which looks like my MPC over there. So everything that all this gear that we spent mm -hmm. thousands and thousands of dollars yeah, on, man. you I know can now have emulated in your machine. And they're actually more powerful than our older units. So you can get all of that power and more for a few hundred really? bucks. That machine cost us wow. over 20, 2200 bucks when we got it. When the first came out? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you got 300 bucks, you, you, you living it up. Wow. 
So you can get cheaper stuff, and everything is cheaper. Well, the, the cost has come down because there's less manufacturing involved. So, so you don't have to spend all this money with the housing and creating the units and shipping it. You can actually download this if you buy it online. Okay, so what if I want to record an album? Well, if you're just starting and you're on a budget, Reason 6 actually offers a great path for that too because you can record all your stuff in there. And then let's say you say, you know, I really like my recording, but I don't trust myself for mixing. Mm -hmm. And mixing, you know, that's the last step before it gets to everyone else, before mastering. You can always take your sessions to a professional engineer like myself. We can load it up and mm -hmm. complete your mix for you. Maybe I can't afford that. So what is the easier way that I can use Reasons? What's the best way I can use reasons? You have to take mixing. the you mixing is something that takes time. You can't. Yeah. You're not gonna. It's not. You can't take a pill and and be mixing tomorrow. Yeah. And there's no quick fix to it. It's something you have to train your ear, and it takes time to learn how to use your tools. So there's really no quick fix to it. The quick fix is hire someone who knows what they're doing. The long term is take your time and learn how to use your tools. Maybe even if you want to take some classes, or maybe you can apprentice with an engineer, so that you can learn what to listen for. So can you show us something that you're working on right here? Something? Oh, sure. Let me give you an idea. But right now, I'm working on this great new plugin I just picked up from these guys, Slate Digital. Mm -hmm. Now this plugin is called VCC Virtual Channel um, Console. Okay. And basically what it does, it emulates the sounds of four or five popular mixing consoles. What are those, for, what are those mixing consoles? Mixing consoles are like the Neve, the SSL, they're the classic things that you see in the big studios where you might see Gladys, or no, you might... Uh, Gladys Knight. Gladys Knight, the old school Steve guys, yeah. Jay-Z, all these guys, they own these big consoles. And now because things are a little cheaper and because of the digital age, we're now able to get copies of those things without spending 350 to a million dollars on the console. Okay, so wow. That's a great, great thing to use now. Yeah. Everything is cheaper, so you guys, you hear that? Everything is cheap and now. You go get this anywhere, Guitar Center, Sam Ash, one of those um, popular places. So can you tell us, um, the mixer board is huge, man. This is a small board. Small? This is a small board. The consoles that these are modeled after are huge. Some of these consoles that, these, that, that this stuff is modeled after, mm -hmm. they take up from here to the, to the end of the other room. Mm -hmm. Should like should we get a mixing board for our new studio? I think to start off with, if you're just learning your software, mm -hmm. first thing you want to do is get comfortable with that before you invite other elements in. Okay. Because the more you have to learn, the more the more daunting it can be to get a, to get to get comfortable. And I think the less you have to deal with, just plug your headphones into the side of your computer mm -hmm. to start. Learn how to use that stuff. Get comfortable making it. So you tell us we can use everything. To record, to mix, everything on your computer. Yes, get yourself a USB mic, it plugs right in the USB. Reason 6 to see that. You can use your headphones, you can even plug some speakers up just to get started. Okay. Then as you get more comfortable, then you upgrade as you go along. Plus this way you don't kill your parents' pocket. Okay, yeah. All right, so you guys heard from the one and only success. It's my man. I'm checking you guys later. Peace. Fresh to death.
Surf skating nice down the boulevard Look at the pinky ring shine So African, so big About the size of a Mexican Louis Vuitton shades, I'm spectacular All black, everything that have matching I'm a beast on this Silverback gorilla Model type white girl Cinderella, she like a bad dude